There are two distinctly different ways to perform a flick shot, and if you aren't using the right one at the right time, you'll find yourself losing jewels and whiffing easy shots. In CSGO, the whole point of a flick shot is to acquire and take down a target as quickly as possible. Every moment you delay between seeing an enemy and firing is essentially increasing your time to kill and giving the opponent time to take you down first. This is why we don't just casually move our crosshair to a target. So what are the two techniques and what's the problem? Well, in our first flick shot, we flick, then click, and in our second flick shot, we flick, check where the crosshair lands, micro adjust if needed, then click. One is faster and less accurate, the other is slower and more accurate. So what should you be doing? Well, the big difference here is that to check where the crosshair lands, we have to wait for a duration equal to our reaction time. For most people, this will be around 200 to 250 milliseconds. In close to mid-range fights, or if an enemy gets the jump on you, this extra time is an eternity and causes you to rely on the enemy making mistakes for you to even have a chance at winning that engagement. Take a look at these two examples. In this first clip, playing Crossfire in Refrag, I'm just flicking and clicking. This gives the enemies very little time to react, and even if I miss that first shot, the spray can compensate. On the other hand, if I pay that reaction time tax, I can land these nice shots, but if I happen to miss, it's all over. I'm too far behind. And if the enemy isn't taking the time to line up their shot, I could already be dead before I even fire. In the vast majority of situations, you'll benefit more from the faster flick and click method. So for optimal play, this should become your default. The only exceptions to this would be if the enemy hasn't noticed you, so you can safely take that extra moment for a more accurate shot. If the enemy is far away and you need a good one tap, or perhaps you have very little ammo like one shot remaining in your deagle. With all that being said, it is vitally important to not fall into the trap of treating the faster flick like you're in some highlight montage. You'll be using these for tiny adjustments all the way to cross screen flicks, and every single one of them needs to be deliberate and to have consideration behind it. If you start autopiloting and just sending the flick, your accuracy is going to plummet. You should always be aware of where your crosshair currently is and where the enemy is most likely to be. This will best prepare your hand to move the mouse the correct distance. If you do find that your flicks are becoming inaccurate or inconsistent, before you panic or regress into bad habits, remember to be deliberate. Chances are this will snap you out of it. One other thing that I'll mention that is a bit more advanced, so only consider this when you feel more comfortable, is to use the time when your weapon spread is resetting to line up your shot to be ready for when the weapon is accurate again. Knowing exactly when to do this will be up to you, but if you're not committing to a full spray, this is a great way to use those small windows of downtime. And regular gameplay alone has relatively few instances of active aiming and flicking in particular during a match, so progress can be brutally slow. A much faster method that allows you to get your reps in is to play Refrag's Crossfire. Even though you may personally score higher lining up your shots, if your goal for the session is to improve your flicks, stick to those flick shots and worry about your score another time. If you want to see a pro tackling Crossfire and mixing the flicking techniques appropriately, check out Alicia's awesome run in this video here.